Hello and welcome to FCAP, uh, Frontier Regional High School. Uh, we got Frontier versus Husik. And Frontier, they are 2-2. Two and two, And Husik is 1-3 and three on the season. Number 15. Jesse, uh, to kick off for the Red Hawks. Number 3, Will Hakes. Number 4, Joe Campbell. Deep the return for the Hurricanes. We got... Frontier, they're coached by Scott Dredge, and Tusek is coached by Mike Boswick. So, Jesse DeRio with the kickoff. And Tusek almost losing it. And finally tackled Two there. On a return. White E's on a stop for the Red Hawks. Who's the ball? First and ten. From the Hurricane 30 yard line. So the quarterback for uh, Huzik is uh, Cameron uh, Kastner, and he's a freshman. <laughs> so he's going to hand the ball off, and loss of about one yard. Ball carrier, tackled by a host of Red Hawks. No gain in the play, second and 10. The interesting thing about Huzik is they only have one senior and one junior. Um, so they're a very young team. They're, they have a bunch of uh, freshmen and a bunch of sophomores. So a run and a gain of a uh, about five yards. Sets up third and Al Schreiber on the stop. Third and five. Third and five. Oh, fumble. fumble and it looks play. like Frontier re recovers it. Covered by uh Covered by Wyatt Edis. The Red Hawks. Wyatt Edis. First and ten, Frontier. So that puts Frontier in a good field position. From the Hurricane 35 yard line. So, Aiden Dredge is the quarterback for Frontier. And it looks like he's going to pass play. Throws it deep wide out, and it's intercepted. And he's going to get to around the 50-yard line. Dredge's pass intercepted by number five, Cornell Bradley. So that was Carnell, Carnell Bradley. Dredge, first down, Hurricanes. Dredge was lucky enough to make the tackle. First and ten. Who's it from the Frontier 49 yard line? So who's it? They're going to run a run play, and Griffin looks Bucci like Aiden, Aiden Dredge is going to make the tackle. Very good for a Husik first down. 
First and 10 Hurricanes from the frontier 38 yard line. So who's it now in good field position? Um, make another handoff. Mucci on a carry. White eats on a stop for the Hawks. Gain of a yard, second and nine. So Frontier, or Luzik makes the stop and picks up a couple of yards. It's going to set up we'll third down. Gain of a couple of yards. It'll be third and six for the Hurricanes. Third and six. So, who's that going to hand it off again? And I think he's going to be stopped just short of the first down. Aiden Weiss on a stop for the Hawks. It's going to set up the fourth and Hurricanes, a fourth down, fourth and four. Yeah, fourth and four. So it looks like uh, they're going to be going for it. Another handoff. Griffin Mucci on the carry. Griffin Mucci. Looks like they're going to get the first down. Very good for a hurricane first down. So they come up big with a first and ten hurricane. Fourth down catch. Or fourth down. From the Red Hawk 25 yard line. Husak with the quick huddle. Oh, it's going to be a pass play. A nice pass. And gets taken down. Marion Castor's pass is complete. First and goal for the Hurricanes. Um. Good pass play for the Hurricanes. They're going to run the ball. And it's going to be good for, for a Hurricane touchdown. Touchdown. Music will attempt a two-point conversion. Another another handoff. They're going to go for two-point conversion, and looks like the Red Ox are going to stop them. Two-point conversion is no good with 7-19 remaining here in the first quarter. The Hoosick Valley Hurricanes hit the Red Hawks nothing. Number six, Griffin Mucci to kick off for the Hurricanes. So Griffin Mucci is going to be Arsenal. kicking off for, for the, the Hurricanes. And Ian Burke going to be receiving for the Red Hawks. It's a nice kick, kind of a line drive, and it's going to go into the end zone. Ball is into the end zone for a touchback, and the Red Hawks will take over first and ten. First and ten, Red Hawks from their own 20-yard line. So they start at the 20-yard line, uh, the Red Hawks. 
And they're going to be in that double wedge uh, run formation again. It's going to be a flag on the play on Usak. Offside on the Hurricanes. Offside. Five-yard penalty that we made first down. So again, double edge play. Aiden Dredge, the quarterback for Frontier. And he's gonna pitch back. And they're gonna pick up the first down and more. Sean Kirkendall on the carry. Oh, Sean Kirkendall. Carry good for a Red Hawk first down. Knocked out of bounds by Ian Libano. First and 10 Red Hawks. Again, double wedge play. Pitch back to Ian Burt. And nice spin move, and he's gonna gain about uh, five yards. Gain a four, second and six. So second and six. And I not be surprised if they run the double edge play again. Dredge, fumble. Aiden Dredge on a carry. Drop for a loss by 55, Ian Levino. So loss about, about loss three, yards. three yards. 39 for the Red Hawks. Third and nine, I would not be surprised if they have a pass play. Sends two receivers out uh, to the right. Ian Burt, handoff to Ian Burt. He's gonna pick up the ooh, Ian Burt on a carry. first down, so. Knocked out of bounds by number 23, Isaac Campbell. Carry good for a Hawk first down. So Ian Burt with a big carry there to get that first down. First and 10 Frontier from their own 45 yard line. Again, they're gonna run that double wedge formation. Judge hands it off, or fakes the handoff, takes it himself, gets out of bounds. Gain about seven yards. Isaac Campbell. Gain of seven. Sets up. Second and three. Yeah, timeout second call by the Hurricanes. So timeout for the Hurricanes. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back.
Three, two, one. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, uh, Desmond, uh, and John on the site today. Frontier with two two wide receivers on the left. Um, and Dredge is going to fake the handoff and take it again himself. Pitch it out to Ian Burt. Ian Burt on a carry. And gains about one yard. Will Hakes on a stop for the Hurricanes. Sets up third and about two. And third and two. Some other third down conversion frontier needs to convert. Or at least not lose yards so they can easily get it on fourth down. So they're gonna run the, the double wedge play. Hand, hand it off and... and Caden James on the carry, tackled by a host of Hurricanes. Carry is good for a Red Hawk first down. So good job by Caden James getting that, picking up that uh, first, first down. And 10 frontier from the Hoosick 44 yard line. So Frontier with two wide receivers on the right, one on the left, and Dredge with two options to hand it off. He's gonna take it himself, pitches it off, and gain about seven, seven yards. Maybe six. John Kirkendall on the carry, brought down by Cornell Bradley. Gain of Five, second and five for the Hawks. So, it's actually a five-yard gain, and Frontier So, uh, probably another run play here for the Hawks. Hand it off to Ian Burt. Ian Burt get, picks up the Ian first Burt down with a nice move. Good job by Ian Burke getting it, breaking Aiden that tackle. Stop for the Hurricanes. Carry good for another Hawk first down. This is Penn Frontier. From the Hoosick 33 yard line. So, Frontier. Moving down the field quite well right now. Dredge hands it off. And James on the carry. Caden James picks up about James four Paul yards. James on the stop four. Who's it? Gain of three, second and seven. So second and seven. Frontier with two wide receivers, one out wide, and one on the left. Dredd's gonna pa pass play. Nice pass. Dredd's pass. Completed by Ian Burt. Cornell Bradley on the tackle. Gains about five yards, so it sits up third. Third down, third and one for third the Red one. From the Hurricane 25. So about 40 seconds left. Frontier in the double wedge formation again. Dredge is going to pitch it. Good job. Runs up the middle. Ray Arsenal kind of a big tackle. 
Griffin Mucci on a stop. Carry for Those another Red Hawk first down. Braden Arsenal. Ten Hawks from the Hurricane 19 yard line. Frontier, about 10 seconds left, so maybe they can get a playoff for the, uh, the second quarter. That's the end of the first quarter here for the Frontier. So Red that's going to... The score, the Hoosick Valley Hurricane, uh, six to Frontier Red Hawks. It's going to end the, the first quarter of action. So after the first, it's six, and, uh, six to zero, Hoosack on the, on the lead, and we'll be right back. We're watching Frontier Community Access Television. All right, welcome to the second quarter. Frontier Red Hawks against Hoosick Valley Hurricanes. Frontier has the ball right now. They're in the red zone. It's third and one right now, and they're on the 10 yard line. If you're just joining us, the score is six to nothing. Hurricanes. And Frontier's in scoring position. Frontier comes out of the huddle, goes into their double wedge formation. Dredge gets the snap, hands it off, and Ian Burke gets slammed down for a loss of a couple yards. He's a bit shaken up. He's going to come off. Holding his gut. Yeah, that was a big hit. So Aiden West is going to come in for... Ian Bird, it looks like. Fred Hawks in the huddle. Coach Dredge gives Aiden Dredge the play. Frontier comes out. It's fourth and three. There's the handoff. And Caden James, James with the carry. It first down. First down, Red Hawks. First and goal for the Red Hawks. First and goal for the Red Hawks. Great effort there by James. Got stopped by the pile, but he bounced off and just kept pushing. First and goal from the Hoosick eight-yard line. So Frontiers on the eight-yard line. We've got about nine minutes. Nine and a half minutes left in this half. They come out of the huddle quick, get into, get onto the line of scrimmage. James is on the right side. There's Dredge gonna run the ball in for a touchdown. Aiden Dredge with a touchdown for the Frontier Red Hawks. Touchdown Red Hawks. For a run. That's a rushing touchdown of eight yards for Frontiers quarterback Aiden Dredge. So now the score is going to be six to six with nine minutes and 17 seconds left in the half. And Jesse Dubriel is going to come out for the Frontier Red Hawks to try and kick the extra point. Try and give Frontier that one point lead that they really need right now. Snaps bad. Ian Burt carries it, trying to find some room, throws it, and it's no good. Almost had. Version is no good. That was. He almost had. Eddie. Mizowski. I'm really sorry if I'm saying that wrong because I definitely am. And we're. It's Mitch Kowski, Edward Mitch Kowski. Almost had Eddie Mitch Kowski in the end zone for two points, but just wasn't there. So the score remains six to six. Um, and Frontier's gonna kick off. Jesse DeReal to kick off for Frontier. Will Hakes 
Bro Campbell back for the oh. Hurricanes. I'm being told I got for, forgot to introduce myself. I'm your momentary commentator, Mason Smith. This is... Uh, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television right now. Thank you for joining us tonight. There's the kickoff received by Husik. Runs through the pile and gets tackled by three Red Hawks at the 40-yard line. Goes up to five, Quanell Bradley on the return. So that was Quanell Bradley on the return for Husik. First and 10 Hurricanes from their own 40-yard line. So first and 10 for the Hurricanes. They're on their own 40. They come out of the huddle. There's the snap handoff. And he's going to get pushed back from the pile for a loss of yards. That was Caden Tatro on the carry for the Hurricanes. No gain, second and ten. Oh, and it's going to be no gain, not a loss of yards. That's my bad. Just under nine minutes left in the half. Second and ten for the Hurricanes. Come out of the huddle. There's a snap handoff to Tatro again. And I think that's going to be a loss of one or two, it looked like. Caden Tatro on a carry, tackled by a host of Red Hawks. No gain, 30 10 for the Hurricanes. Frontiers From defensive line Florida. holding strong, which is exactly what they need right now. Who's it comes out of the huddle? There's the snap handoff to Tatro again, and he gets some yards this time. Looks to be about five. So it's going to be fourth and five for the Husik. From the Husik 45 yard line. And it looks like they're going to go for it. Yeah, it's, it's the uh, community caster. Oh, okay. Who's it comes out of the huddle? Camarion Kasser, Kastner, excuse me. False start. Flag on a play. On False someone. On the Hurricanes. On the Hurricanes. Penalty. So that's a five yard penalty on the Hurricanes. It's going to be fourth and, fourth and 10 on their own 40. I'd be surprised if they went for it now, but it looks like they are. Nope, they're they are gonna punt it. Number seven, Camarion Castor. So Camarion Castner, who is receive for the Hurricanes. Their quarterback the and punter. Gets the snap, gets it away. It's blocked, so it's just going to land at the, at the frontier, the frontier yard 39-yard line. line. So that was about a 21-yard kick for Camarion Kastner. And Frontier's going to have the ball in their own territory, their own 39. See if they can get another score here. Red Hawks out of the huddle. Six minutes and 40 seconds left in the half. Going with the double wedge formation again. Dredge gets the snap, hands it off. Another handoff to Burt. Burt runs up the middle and, and gets Burt stopped for a gain of two, two yards, it looks Aiden like. Tatro on a stop for Husik. Gain of a yard, second and nine. So 
So second and nine for the Red Hawks. Double wedge formation again. Dredge gets the snap, hands it off. Keeps pushing, but he's not going to get far. That was Braden Arsenault on the carry for the Red Hawks. So Frontier's going to go. They've got third and seven situation right now. They are on their own 44-yard line. So way out of field goal range, especially at this level of play. Huzik's playing some up-close defense. They know Frontier isn't going to throw. They've got no receivers out in the wings. There's the snap. Dredge is going to throw it to Burt, who gets the first down. Great play there by Frontier. Certainly on me fooled. Into Hoosick territory for a Red Hawk So down. Frontier's going to get into Hurricanes territory here. They're going to be on. They're going to be on the Hoosick 47 yard line. We've got it five minutes left to play in this half. Score is still 6 to 6. Dredge gets the snap. Flags but there's play, a flag on the play. On the Red Hawks. False start, start on the Red Hawks. Braden Arsenal. Coach Dredge ain't too happy about that. Frontier comes out of the huddle. Four and a half minutes left to play. It's first and 15. Dredge gets the low snap, runs to the left side, tosses it off. Nice Sean hit Kirkendall there by Sean Kirkendall. Bradley on the hit he looks a bit shaken up. That looked like some helmet to helmet contact there. But he's gonna tough it out. He's going back onto the field. Coach Dredge has other plans. <sighs> Four minutes left to play. It's second and ten for Frontier. They are at the Hoosick 47. Frontier comes out of the huddle. They're going to send Braden Arsenault on the right side. Aiden Weiss on the left. Dredge drops the snap, runs to the right side, tosses it off to Burt, who's going to try and make a move. Ian Burt on the carry. Tosses it forward. Flag There's a flag on the play, Quano though. Bradley. Quano Bradley on the tackle for uh, Huzik. So what happened was Burt had the ball, and he tossed it forward to James. But I'm pretty sure that they were behind the line of scrimmage, so that would be a legal throw. I'm not exactly sure why there's a flag, unless it's on Huzik. Well, Huzik's coach has come out and is talking with the refs about it. I think they're waving it off. Legal forward pass, penalty declined. Legal forward pass, penalty declined. So that was a penalty on the Red Hawks. For the Red Hawks. Interesting call there, but that's beside the point. It's third and 12 for the Frontier Red Hawks. They're on the 50 yard line. They've got some receivers on the left side, Weiss and Burt. Dredge calls out the play. There's the snap, tosses it to Weiss. Who gets thrown down? Flag on the play. Bray Arsenal. Thrown down Flag by Aiden Wicks for Huzik. And that looks like it's going to be a face mask penalty. 
15-yard penalty. So if we're right, that's a 15-yard penalty on Huzik. So that would give, that's going to give Frontier a first down. And it is. 15 yard gain for the Red Hawks and a first down. So it's first and 10 from the Hurricane 35 yard line. <sighs> Some new hope for the Red Hawks here. And they're gonna go back to their classic double wedge formation. Movement in the backfield, tosses it off to Weiss. He's going to run up the right side, make some good moves, and he's going to get a first down. That was Braden Arsenal. That was my bad, not Aiden Weiss. Braden Arsenal with a great run up the right side there. So, oh, there's the snap. Tosses off to Arsenal again. He's going to run up the middle, get stopped after about five yards. For the Red Hawks. Frontiers playing a hurry up. Gain of five, second and five. Goes back to there. Toss off to Burt. Burt has Barry. nowhere to go. Tries to run up the left side, Quan but gets Bradley on a stop. tackled by Quan L. Bradley. Timeout called by the Red Hawks. There are two minutes left in the half, and a timeout has been called by the Red Hawks. They're going to take a quick break and. So are we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith. Thank you for tuning in for tonight's football matchup. Frontier Red Hawks against Goosek Hurricanes. We have two minutes left in the first half and Frontier has the ball. Nice pass there from Aiden Dredge and it's caught by Ian Burt for a touchdown. First play back from Frontier's timeout, and they've got a touchdown, folks. Frontier's going to take the lead, 12 to 6, on a great plat, on a great pass from Aiden Dredge to Ian Burt up the left side. Frontier will attempt a two-point conversion, and they're going to attempt two points here. So Frontier's going to line up in their double wedge formation. Dredge hands it off to Arsenault, and it's good. In for the conversion. Two points for Frontier. Scores now 14 to six. Frontier Red Hawks have the lead. One minute and 53 seconds left to play in the half, and that is some good news for Red Hawks fans. Jesse Dubriel to kick off Jesse for kick the off. Frontier Red Hawks. Will Hakes. There's the kick on the ground down the middle, and it gets recovered by Huzik. He's fighting through the pile, and he's not going to get far. That was Quanell Bradley on the return for Huzik. <coughs> And Kuzik's going to start in their own 36-yard line. <sighs> Frontiers got to feel really good right now after that great pass. There's the snap, handoff, runs up the left side. He is going, on a carry. A and he's going to get play. tackled. But there is a flag on the play. That was Ethan a run Bryan by Caden Tatro. Edward Muskowski. 
tackled by Eddie Michkowski. And the flag. Holding on Huzik. Holding on Huzik. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Will so first down. That's a ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. It's gonna remain first down. And so that's first and twenty for Huzik. And they're starting on their own thirty four. Camarion Kastner back to receive the snap for Huzik. Calls out the play, gets the snap, looking for a pass. He gets it up the left side. Oh, great effort there by Quanell Bradley. That was a beautiful pass. So that's an incomplete pass. It's going to be. Oh, it's going to be second and eight. That was my bad, folks. Uh, second and eight for uh, the Hurricanes on their own 34. That was a great throw from freshman Camarion Kastner, if I do say so myself. There's the snap. Hands it off. He's going to run up the right side. And Tatro with another run there. 40 yard line. 39 yard Frontier line doesn't keep third. tabs on him. He is going to get a lot of yards tonight. He's just been very explosive on the field. So third and seven. Third and seven for, who's it, is it? No, third and two, that's my bad, jeez. Third and two, there's the snap. Kastner gets sacked. For a loss by gets sacked by Wyatt, Wyatt Edis. Fourth down for the Hurricanes. Great play there by Edis. So, now it's going to be 4th and 12, I believe. 4th and 11. 4th and 11. We've got just under a minute here in the first half. And the question is, is who's it going to go for it in these remaining 45 seconds? It does not look like it. Huzik's going to punt. Ian Burt runs back for the Red Hawks to receive the punt. There it is. Burt gets the punt off of one bounce. He's going to go up the left side and gets tackled pretty quickly. We've got 15 seconds left in the... 15.7 seconds left in the second quarter. So... First and 10, Red Hawks from the Red Hawk 48 yard line. Red Hawks are gonna have first and 10 on their own 47. And it looks like they're just gonna take a knee and run out the first half here. And that is exactly what they're going to do. That's going to be the end of the first half here, folks. The score is 14 to 6. Frontier Red Hawks are in the lead. And we will be back in a couple minutes with the second half of this matchup. I'm Mason Smith, and you are watching Frontier Community Access Television. We will be right back. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith. Here with the rest of the FCAT crew. We're just about to start the third quarter here in this football matchup. Frontier Red Hawks against the Hoosick Hurricanes. If you're just joining us, the score is 15, 14, excuse me, 14 to six Frontier. 
and we will be starting shortly. A couple highlights from the first half. We had some great passes. We had a great pass from uh, Aiden Dredge to Ian Burt on the Red Hawks for a, their most recent touchdown. And Caden Tatro on Huzik has been extremely dominant on the running game for them. So, Frontier's gonna receive the kickoff. There's the kick, straight down the middle to Arsenal. Goes up the middle, gets tripped up and he knocked down at Frontier's own 42. From the frontier, 42 yard line. <laughs> All right, first and ten for the Red Hawks on their own 42. They come out of the huddle. We've got some receivers on either side. Dredge gets the snap, hands it off to James, and James gets thrown down after about four yards. Matthew Winnick got a stop for the Hurricanes. Gain of three, second and seven. So it's second and seven for the Red Hawks on their own 45. Arsenal and Michkowski, Michkowski on the left side for Frontier. Dredge calls out the play, gets the snap, fakes the handoff, runs up the left side, and gets a first down. Nice play there by Dredge. Caden Tatro on the stop for Huzik. First and ten. Frontier from the Hoosick 47. So that's first and 10 for Frontier from Hoosick's 47 yard line. Red Hawks get out of the huddle. Going to their double wedge formation again. There's a snap, fakes the handoff again. Dredge throws it back to Arsenault, and Arsenault gets wrapped up pretty quickly for a loss of one. Oh, and he is limping. He doesn't look too good. He's gonna come off, it looks like. Is he gonna stay in? One out, Bradley was on the stop. No gain, second and 10. Keeps moving his arm around. That doesn't bode well for Frontier. Yeah, it's his left arm. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. Frontier coming out of the huddle. Lines up. Dredge calls out the play. Michkowski and Arsenault on the left side. Dredge fakes the handoff again, goes up the left side, hands it off to Burt, and Burt gets surrounded by Huzik players. Helped up by Michkowski. It's third and 11 for Frontier on Huzik's 48 yard line. Well, scoreboard still says 14 to six, which is very good to see if you're any kind of fan of Frontier. They've had a rough season so far, and if they can win this, that would really boost their spirits. Receivers on the right side for Frontier. Dredge calls out the play. There's the snap. Goes back for a pass. 
There it is, up the right side. Oh, right through his hands. Aiden Weiss barely misses the catch, and he is not getting up, folks. He is rolling around. He is in some serious pain right there. All right, players are going to take a knee. They're going to take a quick break from play, and so are we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. All right, welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. We're back from a quick timeout. Aiden Weiss has gotten off the field. Seems to be feeling a bit better, which is always good. Frontier's going to punt the ball. There it is. And Kuzik receives, runs up the right side. He's got some room to run, and he's going to get tackled just past the 50-yard line. That was Quanell Bradley on the return. Sean Kirkendall. Eight and a half First minutes left to play in the third quarter. Who's it comes out of the huddle? They've got receivers on the left side, movement in the backfield, hands off, runs up the left side. Tatro's going up the left side. He's still going and gets brought down finally after a 25-yard run. Good for a hurricane first down. Caden Tatro just got a 25-yard run, folks. From the frontier, so yard line. that's going to be a big gain and a first down for Huzik. And they're going to correction. They're going to be on Frontiers' 28-yard line. First and ten from the 28 for Huzik. There's the snap. Fumble on the play. Fumble on the play. Each team gesturing their own way. And fumble recovered by the Red Hawks. Fumble is recovered by the Red Hawks. So a great play, a great run by Tatro is just made irrelevant by great play by the Red Hawks defense. Frontier has the ball back with seven minutes and 41 seconds left in this third quarter. And they're starting this drive from their own 27. Timeout called by the Red Hawks. Quick timeout is going to be called by the Red Hawks. And so we're going to take a quick break with them. You're watching Frontier Community Access at television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Frontier has the ball. Starting the drive first and ten at their own 27. Snap handed off to Arsenal. And he's going to run for about five, six yards it looks like. Second and four for the Red Hawks. on their own 34. Frontier comes out of the huddle. Dredge ready for the snap. Double wedge formation. He tosses it off to Burt, who's gonna run up the middle, pushing through, and looks like a first down for Red Hawks, and it is. First and 10 from the Red Hawk 40. People still getting up from the pile. Six minutes and 50 seconds left in the third quarter. Score is still 14 to six, Frontier and the Red Hawks are marching down the field. There's the snap, Dredge is gonna keep it. Runs up the left side Dredge and no Quanel gain. Quanell Bradley on the stop. And 
Dredge is limping. Dredge doing a couple stretches on the field. Frontier seems to be having a lot of injuries today, which does not bode well. Nice little trick play there by Frontier. Caden James with the carry, and he gets a first down. That was incredible. Oh, my God. And James is down. Gets back up slowly. Frontier, as I just said, seems to be having quite a bit of injuries. But that, that was a great trick play there by the Red Hawks. It's first and 10 from midfield for them. Five and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Double wedge formation. Dredge gets the snap, tosses it off, runs up the middle, and gets tackled for a five yard gain. There's a flag on the play. That was Sean Kirkendall on the carry, by the way. But there is a flag. So Legal chop, Legal chop block by the Red Hawks. So that's going to be a penalty of 15 yards. 15 yard penalty. First. It's going to be first and 25 from the Frontier 40-yard line. So, that's a big setback for Frontier. Frontier sets up in the double wedge formation. Dredge gets down to receive the snap. There it is. Hands it off to Arsenal. Arsenal pushing through the pile and Larry gets Arsenal. pushed forward for, for about four yard gain. Will Hicks on the stop for the Hurricanes. So second down. Second and twenty. Second and seventeen. No, well, second and seventeen. That's my bad. Second and seventeen for the Red Hawks with four minutes and 20 seconds left to play in the third quarter. They've got receivers on either side. Movement in the backfield. Arsenal runs up to the right side. Dredge farther back. Burt gets the handoff. Runs up the right side. Misses a tackle and gets a Hurricane. Gain of a few yards. Third down, third and Two yard gain for Burt on that play. And it's third and 15 for Frontier. They've got to come up with something big if they want to keep this drive going. Three and a half minutes left in the third quarter. The other thing that Frontier's got to do if they want to keep up the performance that they've had so far tonight is watch out for injuries. We've seen a lot of limping on the field from the Red Hawks. Players slow to get up. There's the snap. Dredge fakes the handoff, throws it just over Burt's head on the left side. So incomplete pass for the Red Hawks. It's fourth and 15, and the looks like the kicking team's going to come out. Sean Kirkendall back to punt. For so Sean Kirkendall back to punt for Frontier. Back to receive for the Hurricanes. And Will Hakes back to receive. No. Quanell Bradley, back to receive for 
Huzik. There's the snap. Kick is off, good. Straight to Bradley, and he drops it, but falls on top of it. Covers up back the so Huzik still has the ball. They've got it at their own 30-yard line. And it's first and 10 for Huzik. Score is still 14 to six. Frontier in the lead. We've got three minutes left in the third quarter. Huzik comes out of the huddle. They've got receivers on the right side. Hands it off to Tatro, who runs up the right side, gets some good blocking, makes a move, and he's going to get to about the 43. So that's a first down. Sophomore Colin West knocks Tatro out of bounds on that play. And so it's going to be first and 10 for Huzik on their own 42-yard line. Just under three minutes left to play in the third quarter. Camarion Kastner gets the snap, hands it off to Tatro. Tatro looks like he slipped or got tripped up. So that's going to be no gain or maybe even a loss of loss one. Of yard, second and 11. So, yeah, loss of a yard, second and 11 for Kuzik on their own 40. Two and a half minutes left in the quarter. Receiver on the far side for Huzik. Kastner looks to throw, doesn't find anybody and gets sacked. Kastner dropped for a loss. Sacked by James, we have a timeout. Alex time. Schreiber. And we've got a timeout. Players are taking a knee, stretching. That's Camarion Kastner who's slow to get up this time. Quarterback for Huzik. He's standing up now, which is it's always a good sign. So we're going to take a quick break now while they figure out what's going on with Kastner. This is Frontier Community Access Television. Third and 17 for Huzik. Oh, I gotta do a three, two, one first. That's my bad. <laughs> three, two, one. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith. We've got just under two minutes left in the third quarter here. It is third and 17 for Huzik on their own 35. Got receivers on either side. There's the snap, throw down the right side, and it's caught. Oh. He's still going. Oh my God, that was Quanell Bradley with the reception. And Peyton's pass complete to number five, Quanell Bradley. And that was an incredible complete pass from Ben Peyton, who just stepped in after Camarion Kastner got injured on the last play. So that's going to be a a big first down for the Hurricanes. And that will put them on the, f that's gonna put them on the Red Hawks 35. First and 10, Huzik from the Frontier 34 yard line. Huzik out of the huddle. Frontier runs around, trying to cover everyone. Kastner is back, hands it off to Tatro. Tatro up the far side, tries to make a move, 
gets through, and he's going to get past a couple defenders for a gain of seven. We've got a minute left in the third quarter now, folks. Second and four for the Hurricanes. It is second and four for Huzik on Frontier's 27. It looks like. Huzik's looking to even out the score here right at the end of the third quarter. Movement in the backfield. Kastner with the throw. Down the middle. Intercepted by Frontier. Aiden Dredge with the interception. Runs up the near side and gets tackled at the 42-yard line. He is limping really badly, though. That is not good for Frontier. We've got 12 and a half seconds left in the third quarter, and Aiden Dredge is going to be on the sideline for at least a few plays, it looks like. That did not look pretty. But Frontier just stopped a great drive by Huzik. And now they're on their own 43. Double wedge formation. There's the snap. Tossed off to Arsenal, and he gets stopped. No gain, but there's a flag on the play. Dredge has stood up on the sidelines and is walking around, which is a good sign. Six and a half seconds left in the third quarter. Holding on, Holding on the Red Hawks. So that's going to be a 10-yard penalty. Still first down. And Caden James has temporarily taken over quarterback responsibilities. Well, Dredge is out. But that's going to be the end of the third quarter. So the score is 14 to 6 Frontier going into the fourth quarter. Frontier has the ball on their own 33 and we will be back in a couple minutes with the conclusion to this matchup you're watching frontier community access television hello and welcome back to frontier community access television tom albert uh mason smith we got desmond and john tonight so i'm Back for the fourth quarter action, and it is uh, Frontier leading 14 to six, uh, and it's going to be second down. That run's going to set up a second, and 20 about 18 or 18. Frontier, you're going to. They're going to have to do a pass play at some point to pick up that uh, uh, the extra yards. Do that penalty. Dredge is going to hand it off to Ian Berg. Ian Berg on the carry. And again, about, about two. It's going to set up third and seventh. 16. So he's got two receivers or two receivers on on the right, and then he's got an option to pass, uh, hand the ball off. Dread it's. It's going to be a pass play. Oh, and it's nice tip. Aiden Weiss incomplete. Aiden Wicks with the tip. Aiden Wicks on a coverage. 
fourth and 17 for Frontier. Kind of blocked the ball. Um, and it, as it was intended for Aiden West. John Kirkendall. The punt for the Red Hawks. So and Bradley drops back for the Hurricanes. Sean Kirkendall with the punt. And Frontier may have recovered. Red Hawks ball. Red, yep. Frontier recovers. As it just tipped off of the, the ankle of one of the Hussack players. So Aiden West with a big big play there. So Frontier in really good field position as they're about at the 30 yard line. Frontier in the double wedge formation. Dredge is gonna hand it off. Caden James on a carry. And Caden James on a stop. is gonna pick up about a yard. It's gonna set up, uh, set up. Gain of a yard, second and nine. Second and nine. Dredge, he's got two men in the backfield to hand it off. And it's going to be a pass play. Nice pass. Big hit. Complete to Aiden Weiss. Aiden Weiss uh, Bradley on a stop. picks up about four or five yards. Eight of six. Third and four. Third and four. And I wouldn't be surprised if Frontier doesn't convert on this third down that they go for it on fourth because they're uh, well into uh, the hurricane territory. And flag on the play. False start on Frontier. third down. Yeah. Third and nine. And Dredge going back to the huddle. Wouldn't be surprised if we see another pass play. Uh, so I got to gain a couple yards here. Again, Dredge has one receiver on each side and two in the back. Pass to Ian Burt and deflected. Pass he completed, intended for number two, Ian Burt. Fourth down, fourth and nine for the Red Hawks. So fourth and nine is that one was incomplete. Fourth and nine from the Hoosier 30 yard. And I was right, Frontier, they're going to go for it on, on fourth down. And so he's got, again, two men on. Yeah, two on the right, one on the left. He's going to hand it off to Ian Burt, and Burt's got nice moves. He's going to run, and they're not going to get a couple yards. They're only going to get a gain of couples, but yeah, Hurricanes are going to take it over. Yeah. 
So again, 14 to six, uh, with about eight minutes left in the, uh, the fourth quarter. Time out for player. Uh, so there's going to be an injury timeout. So they're going to take a quick break. So will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access ti uh, Television. So the, uh, the player that got injured, I think it was a. Uh, a head or neck, and he's uh, he's gonna get go to the hospital. So we're handoff for Husak and Griffin Mucci with a gain about. One driver on a stop. Gator Yard, second and nine for the Hurricanes. <laughs> so second and nine. Cameron Kastner having a pass play wide open. He makes the catch and gets shoved out of bounds by Ian Burt. Aiden Wicks knocked out of bounds by Ian Burt. So Aiden Wicks with that uh, that reception. About. First and 10 Hurricanes from the Frontier 40 yard line. About a 25 yard uh, catch and run. <laughs> so, so Kastner is sacked. Aiden West drops into the loss. Aiden West with a big sack there. Stop. Second and 15. So second and 15 as there was a flag on the play. Uh, false start. And who's it? Another pass play. Deep reception. Intercepted by Burt. Ian Burt with two interceptions this game. Great job by Ian Burt making that, reading that pass. Red Ox take over now. About six minutes and ten seconds on the clock. First and ten frontier from the frontier, seventeen yard line. And front two in the double edge uh, dredge. Pushes back to Ian Burt. Ian Burt runs up the left sideline. Ian Burt on a carry. Griffin. And gains about Griffin five. Kastner and Griffin Mucci on a stop. Gain of five, second and five. Frontier. Although they, they need to march down the field and kind of waste the rest of the clock so Husak doesn't have a, uh, a chance to come down the field and, and tie this game up. They'd also need a two-point conversion as well. Frontier on the double wedge run play again.
Dredge takes the snap, pitches it back to Bird. And a gain of about, about four. So third and third and one. Third down, third and one for the Red Hawks. Not to be surprised if they're on the double wedge again. First down. Oh, Maybe and they're good for first down. First and ten for Frontier. They're going to say it's a first down, actually. So again, in the double wedge run formation. And... Brayden Arsenal down a carry. Brayden Arsenal with a gain of about... No gain. Of a yard, second and nine. Frontier in the double edge formation again. It's, they're just trying to uh, eat that clock. Carry up the middle. Gains about five yards, five, six yards. Stopped by a host of Hurricanes. Third down, third and four for the Red Hawks. Third down and four to go. Again, we're going to see that double edge formation. Frontier going to try to pick up that first down right now. Pitch back to Ian Burt. And Burt's going to. Ian Burt on a carry. Get the first down. Ben Payton on a stop. Carry good for a Red Hawk first down. Good job by Ian Burt. Getting first through a, ten frontier. a bunch of players there. From the frontier. So, 40 yard line. Frontier on their own 45. Or 40 yard line. Around two minutes, two and a half minutes left to go in this game. Double wedge formation, Dredge. He's gonna, uh, nice hand, nice move. Brayden and Arsenal. Braden Arsenal. Into Hurricane territory, brought down by Marion Kastner. First and 10 Hawks. About a 20, 22 yard run by Braden Arsenal. From the Hurricane 39 yard line. So now they're in Hurricane territory. And under two minutes left to play in this game now. Frontier in the double edge formation. Dredge hands it off. Caden James. Caden James runs up the middle. On the red hook. Carry. And gains about. Caden Tatro on a stop. About four. Gain a four, second and six. So second and six, and we got time for about two more plays, two, three more plays. And if Frontier gets that first down, that's going to seal it. Uh, so the double wedge formation again. Dredge hands it off. Caden James. Caden James. Carry for the Red Hawks. Gains about, about three yards there. Caden Tatro on a stop. And it's going to set up third and. Oh, the Hurricanes. 
34, so a timeout for the Hurricanes. We got about a minute left, and they're going to take a break. Solely, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Uh, Tom Albert, Mason Smith, Desmond, Ian and Bert John. Carry for Frontier. Ian Bird. Very good for a Hawk first down. Picks up that first down, and all they have to do now is just kneel it, and that's the game. Mucci on a stop. So, 14 to 6. Frontier's going to win this one. Unless something happens, something big happens. Oh, they're going to run it at a run ball. Caden James on the carry. Caden James. Gains about about two. It's like an easy way out. It's awesome. That'll be the end of the game here at the Frontier Regional School with the final score. And so that's Frontier Red Hawks fourteen. The Hoosier Valley Hurricanes six. So final score is fourteen to six. Frontier at home. They improved to three and two on the season. Uh Quick recap of the game. Uh, the Hurricanes, they scored first. It was Griffin Mucci. Uh, it was a run play in the first quarter with about uh, 7 720. And then Frontier, they scored uh, twice in the second quarter. So second quarter was their game as Aiden Dredge he uh, took it himself to score that touchdown uh, around the nine, nine and a half minute mark. And Dredge had a round of 25 yard passing play to Ian Burt. Uh, with about two minutes left in the second, second quarter. And Sean Kirkendall uh, converted on uh, with the two point conversion. So, again, final score 14 to 6. Frontier with the win. And we will see you guys next time. Watching Frontier Max and Phil. Tom Albert, uh, Desmond, Mason Smith, and John. Thank you.